Hi guys, Kay here. I am going to be talking to you today about how to make that connection with the spirit world. I get questions all the time of how can I connect to the spirit world and how can I make my connection stronger? Guys, it's really, really simple. Stay with me and I'll give you some pointers. I think the first thing that we have to come to grips with as mediums is that when we start developing as mediums, it's not a quick training. It's not a quick fix. The way that we're used to in this world is we want everything zippity quick, but mediumship and developing as a medium doesn't quite go like that. We have to just put the brakes on for just a bit. We have to allow it to develop over time. So just, you know, go in a slow mode. I think it's really the best, um, best way to go is to go slow. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear. You don't want to hear somebody say, go slow, go slow. No, I know. I get that. I understand that. I don't want to go slow either. But one of the things that I did do was I took time to sit in the silence with myself. And what I discovered was as I was sitting in the silence trying to learn how to meditate, was my guide started showing up. And that was amazing in itself was for him to show up. It, he didn't show up right away. Um, but over time, he started to show up and he would sit with me. He wouldn't talk to me. Uh, I tried desperately to get him to talk to me, but he wouldn't. So the two of us would sit in the silence. And I did this every single day for about a year, actually, where I just sat with him with no real communication other than me desperately trying to get him to um, teach me and show me things. And the only response I ever got from him was trust. And so that's what I did. I trusted him that even though I was sitting in the silence, something good was happening. And I found out later, once I started developing, I found out how powerful it was for me to just give my guide or give the spirit world time to just be with me and me to be with them. And what I discovered was that there was all these things happening behind the scenes that I was totally unaware of. My guide was getting to know me, was getting to know my, my energy. I was getting to know him. I was getting to know his energy. And it's so important for us as mediums to be able to tell the difference between this is my energy, this is the spirit world's energy, and it does feel different. It's important for us to be able to understand that this is what the energy of somebody on a guide level feels like versus this is what energy feels like of, of my loved ones or somebody else's loved ones. We have to be able to tell the difference between these energies. And one of the ways that we can learn about that is just by sitting in the silence, giving it time and being with the spirit world while we sit in the time, uh, in the silence. So my first tip for you is one, go slow. The second tip for you is sit in the silence with the spirit world. It will provide opportunities for you to learn how to blend whether you realize you're doing it or not. It will provide the opportunities for you to learn how to blend with the spirit world. So, so, so important. Now, why do we need to learn how to blend with the spirit world? Because Energy is all about vibrations and we have to be able to understand the vibrations of energy and the spirit communicators who come in to work with us. So I've already talked about how important it is for us to understand our own vibration, our own energy versus that of our guides or that of our loved ones or somebody else's loved ones. But there's, there's even more to this. Think of it like this. We are um, spirit in a human body and the spirit world is spirit without the body. But even though they don't have a body, they still have their personalities intact, especially loved ones. 
who have passed over because they're they're in spirit world terms relatively new to the spirit world so there's they still very much have uh, all of what they had here on earth with them in the spirit world and so they have to watch us in in advance of working with us they come they hang out they watch us from afar we might not be aware that they're around us but they're learning about our energy trying to decide can they work with us is this a good fit for me is this medium a good fit for me the spirit communicator for me to work with for one of my loved ones they it all has to match up personalities have to match up um just being the right fit has to all come together in order for the communication to go the way that we want it to go. Another thing that we have to think about as well when we're sitting in the power or we're sitting in silence, which with whatever it is that you do to, to get there, to sit and be with the spirit world, is our development is forever changing, especially the more we develop, the more you'll start to find these little shifts in the way that you're working. You'll find that your own vibration begins to change a bit as well. Maybe it becomes a little uh, more easier for the spirit world to come in and work with you because your energy is changing. So when that happens, your energy you'll find that it's it goes like this with your work you you're you've got this struggle when you're working and you don't quite understand it so perhaps maybe your mediumship was rolling along just fine and now all of a sudden you're getting these uh, 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 tug of war bumps and it's just not going the way it normally does maybe it's because your own energy is beginning to change Maybe it's because you've got new people in the spirit world, spirit helpers coming in, and you're learning how to uh, adjust your own vibration to work with them, or you're learning how to adapt to your own vibration. So there's lots of variables that take place that allow us to connect to the spirit world that may allow us to connect stronger or may um, cause some bumps along the road so when that happens when you start getting the bumps retreat back go back to that sitting with spirit again i would sit with spirit um uh, on a regular basis anyway it's good for you it's good for the spirit world they are your partners so you have to give them the time uh, that they need as well as what you need as and uh, what you both deserve so Take the time, sit with spirit, go slow, and uh, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you enjoyed this video tutorial and uh, you would like to have more, show your appreciation, please. Put comments in uh, down below. Hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. I'll be posting more. Thank you very much.